Awesome. Hey, good morning, scholars and staff. Mr. Hagee here. It is 731. Time to get started today. Thank you so much to Miss Brown for reading a little bit this morning about Red Ribbon Week and why we are celebrating Red Ribbon Week and why we are participating in that and um, making sure that we are doing that each and every day. We've got five days worth of a spirit week. Today is team day. And so we are teaming up to be drug free. So thank you, Miss Brown. She'll be with us again this morning to read something with that. Hey, scholars, before we get started today, let's make sure that during morning announcements, we are locked in to morning announcements. That means I'm not playing Minecraft on my iPad. I'm not reading anything. I'm focused in on the screen because Fairview 5 number one is number one for a reason. Actively listening to the speaker. Everything think falls from that, right? So you want to make sure that you're listening to the speaker. So that is you. So make sure that you are locked in this morning so we can get what we need for morning announcements and get our day started today. Yesterday, we talked about the word excellence, and I know who's listening during morning announcements because practicing excellence each and every day with a growth mindset and other things, I see it from those who are paying attention during morning announcements. So start your morning off right by making sure that you're locked in and also staying in on our Fairview 5. So we talk to you about your Fairview 5 every single day, not because it's good for my health, but because I wanna make sure that we know our expectations here at Fairview. It's five things. It's not 450 things. It's five things. It's the same whether you're in pre-K or whether you're in fifth grade, whether you're in art class, whether you're at recess. It is the same five things. You know what that equals? Fairness. I like that, right? So actively listen to the speaker. That's what you're doing right now as you're locked in. Number two, you're keeping your hands and feet to yourself. Number three, you're cleaning up your area. Number four, you're being kind to others with your words and your actions. And number five, doing your best. Scholars, every scholar in the building, I want you to stay locked in on this screen today. And you see five things in front of you. And without shouting it out, I just want you to look at number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And I want to challenge, I want you to challenge yourself today and think about which one of these you're going to pay attention to most today. Some of you really need to focus on number two. Some of you really need to focus on number four. So think about and reflect on which one of these five you are going to work on today. I hope you've got it in your mind. And which one, if you can't think of one, do all five. That's always a good one. Hey, you got a Scholar Dollar store coming up in two days. So you have to have 75 points to be able to enter into the store. If you have 74, guess what? That's not it. You got to have 75. If you have 76, you made it. 75 points is what you need to get into the store. I saw a bunch of new things that are going to be added to the Scholar Dollar store on Thursday. It looks really cool. So I'm excited for you to get to shop and use your points and then points will reset. And when you get back to school, then we will be back at zero so that you can have another chance to earn more points. Hey, I want to make sure that you're wearing your mask and washing your hands regularly. Just as a reminder, that mask goes over our mouth and nose at all times. As you saw today when Miss Brown was in here, when I started morning announcements, I had my mask on, right? And I was modeling to you how you wear it properly over your mouth and nose at all times, especially right now to keep ourselves healthy and safe, right? So the past couple of days we've been talking about, not couple days, just yesterday, but today it'll be a couple days. We've been talking about the scholar pledge. As a Fairview scholar, I choose integrity. Remember, we talked about that word integrity last week, meaning I'm doing the right thing even when I don't think others are watching. Excellence and teamwork. Today, I will soar to new heights and do my best. I am a Fairview Eagle and I will be successful. Yesterday, we talked about this word excellence. And excellence, as a Fairview scholar, I choose integrity excellence and teamwork. So if you remember, excellence means the quality of being outstanding in an area or extremely good. A quality of being outstanding in an area or extremely good. So for instance, I'm a sports fan. So I want to use a, uh, use a sports reference here that maybe Maybe you know a basketball player by the name of Ben Simmons, right? So Ben Simmons plays for the Philadelphia 76ers. He's going through all this trade talk right now. He finally showed up to practice the other day. Now, I will say he has an excellent talent at basketball. 
the quality of being outstanding in, in, in his area. Now, on the other side, his character and his attitude right now is not so excellent. The other day when he was at practice, he didn't want to be there. So he kept on his earbuds. He was staying, uh, not staying locked in on his um, on practice. So he had a cell phone in his pocket the whole time, his earbuds in. He's a professional athlete, right? He's got to make sure that he's locked in and being excellent in all that he does because people are always watching. That's that integrity piece, right? Now, I know he's going through some stuff and it is what it is, but the word excellence doesn't just mean I'm an excellent athlete. It also means I have excellent character as well, right? And so I want you to think about that. You might be a scholar that um, does very well in your academics, right? You're, you're making A's and B's and scoring really well on your benchmarks and knowing your letter sounds. You're doing all of these great things, but you're not being kind to others with your words and actions. So you're not all the way excellent, right? You're excellent in one area, but you have to grow in another area. So to be excellent means that we're always trying to be outstanding in an area. So I used it in a sentence the other day, says Kendrell was focused on the teacher during class. His tracking was excellent, right? And so we talked about yesterday, this thing called growth mindset. So I'll bring up this chart. So you can either have a fixed mindset as a scholar or a growth mindset. For example, if you succeed, I feel threatened. I don't want you to succeed. I feel threatened when you succeed. So that's a fixed mindset. A growth mindset would be like, hey, when you succeed, man, I'm inspired. That gets me going, man, because I want to see you do great things and me do great things. That's a growth mindset. That's a way to be excellent. So another way that you can be excellent is by being organized. So that word organized. So a very quick definition of being organized means having things in order nice and neatly. Now, you may hear this at home. You may, hey, get your room organized, right? Pick your, pick your toys up, pick your things up. You probably hear this in class. But being organized is a form of excellence because excellence, right, it means that I'm outstanding in a category or an area. And so if I know where things are, then I can be excellent in them. Right. So, for instance, to be an excellent scholar, if I don't know where my things are, if I don't have a pencil, paper, uh, I don't have my books, I don't have anything. I don't have my book bag. I don't know where anything is. My desk is crazy. Well, I'm already starting out behind. I need to make sure that I'm organized so I know where things are. So I went by a classroom the other day and this classroom is so organized. Right. But it's the scholars that are organized. And I said, oh, my goodness, I've got to snap a picture of this scholar's desk. And it could have been anybody in that classroom because all of their desks are so organized. And this was at, towards the end of the day after they had done a lot of work and it still looked like this. So I wanna show you, take a look at this picture. The picture on the left, notice this chair was pushed under. This scholar had their, um, this scholar had their cupboard right there. So you could put their headphones in. They had their iPad laid off to the right side. Their desk was nice and neat. Right. If you look in the background of the picture, you can see that another scholar picking up their area. That's a Fairview five. Look inside the scholar's desk. You could clearly find everything that you need. So if this teacher said, hey, I need you to pull out your Eureka book. Boom, there it is. We're getting started. I need you to pull out your CKLA book. Boom, there it is. I need you to pull out a pencil. Boom, there's my pencil pouch. So if you were like me when I was in middle school and I reached into my desk, oh, I don't know what I was going to pull out, right? Don't do that, right? Don't put food in there or anything like that. Your desk needs to be organized and clean. You ready for this? This scholar is in first grade. This is a first grade scholar who is organized and can start their day with excellence each and every day. I guarantee you, if I went by this classroom right now, this scholar's desk would look just like this. And if this scholar's in first grade, then that means if I'm in second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, I can definitely do the same thing, right? I can be organized. I can know where my things are. Doesn't mean that you have to be the cleanest person in the world, but knowing where your things are is always a good thing because you always want to be ready. So if I'm actively listening to the speaker, my teacher's like, hey, I need you to get out your, 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 your Eureka book, excuse me, turn to page 72 for our concept development. Boom, open, I'm there. Let's go. I'm rocking and ready to go. I'm showing excellence today because I know where my things are. So today, scholars, I want you to focus on staying organized and making sure that you are practicing excellence. Excellence isn't something that just happens overnight. You have to practice it over time. So I've given you two things to work on. You have to have a growth mindset and you need to be organized. 
So we'll continue to talk about these things as the weeks go on or as this week goes on, but I can't wait to see your area, right? As I walk through some classrooms and I see some of your areas, right? You might want to clean up your area a little bit. That's also a Fairview 5. So I hope scholars you're realizing this morning that the Fairview 5 helps you get to become an excellent scholar, cleaning up your area, being kind to others with your words and actions. That's a growth mindset, right? So hopefully all these things are starting to connect right now to you. And especially if when you reflected on the Fairview 5 a minute ago, if you chose clean up your area, man, what a, what a great day to choose that one. So think about it today. Maybe right before, uh, right after announcements, if your teacher gives you a couple of seconds to get things organized, get your area nice and neat this morning, right? And practice in that because that is what's going to help you as you become a more elite and excellent scholar. Hey, you're in the Eagle's Nest. And so we want to be fantastic today and do everything we can to be great. I tell you every morning, be great because you are great. Well, we need to act in that today. Let's be excellent on a Tuesday on October 19th and do great things so that you can become a scholar of the week and continue to be an elite scholar. It's 742. It's time to get after it today. I'm looking for scholars with a growth mindset as I'm walking around today, and I'm looking for scholars that are organized today. And I cannot wait to see you in action today. Be great because you are great. Have an excellent Tuesday.